rebuild. Right between Alice Springs and Darwin. There's something about jumping into the car and hitting the road that sets the spirit soaring. It's quiet here in Quorn, a small town in the Flinders Ranges. And it's hard to believe that this was once the crossroads of Australia. For in the 1920s, it was where the East-West and North-South railways met. Here, you boarded legendary trains like the GAN or the Transcontinental. They were exotic days, but they're gone. All that's left now are Quorn's grand railway hotels with their grand sounding names, and of course, a grand railway station. Hello, I want to say an adult single. Do you have a booking? Uh, you can still buy a ticket at Quorn, but not to Perth or the Alice. This was my ticket to ride on one of Australia's most celebrated historic trains, the Pitchy Ritchie Railway. As far as train rides go, it's a journey from nowhere to nowhere. Yet so popular is it that today it attracts more passengers than the old GAN ever did. Well, anyone expecting a huge express train thundering up the line might be in for just a little bit of a disappointment, as the Pitchy Ritchie Railway's not fast. You'd be lucky to get up to 25 kilometres an hour. However, it does give you an opportunity to look out of the window and see some very beautiful countryside. The railway gets its name from the Pitchy Ritchie Pass, and the train still has to negotiate the old cuttings and historic viaducts. Building this line would have been quite an engineering feat in those days. While getting from coach to coach safely is still a feat of human endeavour. Today the Lord must have been looking kindly on lorry Timms. Right, all tickets, thank you. There's a strange assortment of volunteers working on the Pitchy Ritchie. When he's not playing conductor, Laurie's a Roman Catholic priest. Would you like to punch your own ticket? Here we go. Two big hands. I'll hold it for you. There you go. He goes in there. There we go. Now the big squeeze. Oh, I'll give you a hand. Okay, I've got both hands. One, two. Got him. And when Tala's not a student, she's playing guard. This is the nowhere at the end of the line. Woolshed Flats where you can get off and watch them playing trains. Now, the, the guard is just going, giving the driver the hand signals now to go back very slowly and hook up to the first carriage. For anyone brought up on children's books like Thomas the Tank Engine, this is a dream come true. You've got injectors and that, that, that you mix that with the water to be able to put the water into the boiler. There aren't too many opportunities to climb into the cab of a real steam engine. And for those who are not steam fanatics, there's always a Devonshire tea. An adult return ticket costs $16, $9 for children. And it's a good idea to book. And if all that's not enough, tours are also available of the workshops. Some of the famous units that we have the old coffee pot, built in 1905. Since Quorn is about four hours drive from Adelaide, you might want to stay overnight. If so, there's the old mill motel, and of course those grand, rather dilapidated railway hotels. The locals were looking rather well dressed the night I hit town. It was the night of the Quorn Debutants Ball. Somewhere, my love, there will be songs to sing. As the debutants and their partners danced the night away, visions of graceful transcontinental travel stirred.
The ghost of the GAN, belching smoke and steam, seemed so out of place amongst these white dresses until the next morning. This time, I rode on the footplate. Don't expect to be able to do this unless you're an absolute steam fanatic. And if you're not, you wouldn't want to anyway. And steam fanatics are everywhere, recording every movement, following our progress, photographing us from every nook and cranny. And for the gourmet train spotter, the pitchy Richie allows those who've got to be close to steam and well-fed at the same time with the ultimate, the Willow's Restaurant. Benzin in red wine and a full steam view. What could be a more perfect way to conclude a visit to the Pitchy Ritchie Railway? Mm -hmm.